Hello guys and welcome back to my channel In today's video, I decided to review old tech Basically what I'm gonna do is look at pictures how phones, computers, tablets, mouses and everything looked before and compare it to now and check the visible differences and how technology has evolved since 2000s and even since it came on this world. So like and subscribe and without further direction, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing which we're gonna review is the first versus the latest phone. As you can see this picture right here, which I'm gonna pull up. This is one of the first cell phones or aka how they used to look like and compare it to the latest phone iPhone 14 Pro so as you can see there is a very big difference mainly that now the phones are completely screen and before you had only buttons and it took you time pressing the buttons you couldn't even send text messages through the buttons it was only hello you there can you hear me wait I'm gonna go outside Literally, the service was so bad, like, before, even the cell phones, people have, like, one phone at home. If you don't have the money to buy a phone, you go to their phone booth, put some coins, talk for, like, two minutes, when the time ends, put more coins to continue your conversation. So, the phones definitely have evolved a lot if you look through the whole process but this is literally how phones used to look like and not everybody could afford them. Imagine carrying this big phone with you every single day. You can put it in your pocket. You don't have a case how to protect it. If you drop it, probably it will break. Because look at this phone. It's just like something way heavier and uncomfortable to wear right now. Also, nowadays the technology has evolved so much that if you see someone with this phone, you think that this person is crazy. And give this to a teen and definitely I guarantee you that they will survive using only this. AKA me, I'm the teen and I will survive using this one because it, it has nothing. It's only cold. It doesn't even have a SIM card slot. I believe that. So yeah, the first versus the last phone. Well, you can see the difference. Next, I'm going to compare one of the first one of the latest computers. Here is a picture of one of the first computers used to look like this heavy machine and you might call it ugly. Compared to the newest computers, I chose to compare it with Mac because it's only a monitor. The whole monitor is a computer. So there are still computers who come with the computer machine and a monitor separately, but I prefer the Mac over this because you have only I would say one device, but it's a monitor and a computer at the same time. Of course, technology is so modern nowadays that you can buy only a monitor and compare it with your tablet or your laptop. So technically, very, very modern thing. So look at this computer right here. It's just how to say it. It looks so heavy and running internet on this thing. Let's be honest, probably it will be so slow, but let's not judge it because this is what people used to have back in the days. Also, it was a luxury and it's very expensive to own a computer. Nowadays, many people can afford it, even if it's a cheaper one. But let's talk about like 50 years ago or let's say 30 years ago, people and computer this is not something that you can find in every house. Now people, I don't even know if they use computers or they're more like tablets and laptops because you can carry this everywhere. Well, the iMac, you can carry it because it's like one device. But if you have the computer machine and a monitor, it's not something you can carry everywhere with you. But it's definitely more modern. The internet is faster. So they have done many changes. Also, look at the screen comparison. It's just now you have bigger screens on computers compared to this tiny square boxes which they used to have. And honestly, I won't survive writing in this because probably I'm living in a new generation. But, well, people used to have this and it was a very big progression in technology. 
when the first computers appeared, so we should appreciate that. The next devices, which I'm gonna compare, are the first and the latest tablets. Here's a picture. I have to say that the first tablet doesn't look that bad, honestly. It's, again, a progression in the industry of technology. Does it have a pen or pencil? I don't know. But probably they, they invented it just so you can touch like a touch screen. Probably that was one of the first devices with a touch screen before the touch screen phones came and basically they became modern. So it should run internet. Does it have a slot for a SIM card? Like nowadays you have only Wi-Fi, you have cellular. Back then I'm pretty sure people worked only with internet and they had no idea what cellular mean, aka to carry your own internet everywhere because usually I believe people were using this in their houses, they don't bring it around maybe they tried but if back in the days there was only Wi-Fi and cellular data was inventing or say still in progress I don't know how people were working with it, maybe you can take pictures with it if there was a camera because well Comparing cameras back and now, well, let's say that I'm not gonna talk about the quality, but now cameras can do many more things. They have different modes of filming. Back in the days, you just hold it, press the button, take a picture. That's it. Wherever it came, that's what you get. So definitely, you can see how it have evolved. But I have to say, it's a very interesting thing how how technology look like because you can imagine how people were living with it. You can say, I can live with this, look at it. But people back say, oh my gosh, I have this. Look, you don't have it, but I have this one of the very first tablets. So I paid a lot of money, but I have it. Do you want to try it? People are finding this like a treasure, no matter that nowadays we are complaining when something is slow, just because we live in a different generation. But the first tablets were also a very good progression in the industry and I believe that they have success. Can you guess what the next device will be? I'm gonna give you a hint. You can wear it everywhere with you. Yes, that's right. We're gonna compare the smart watches. Again, I'll show you pictures. This is what it looks like. A simple text, probably that's the only thing you could do. Maybe you could track your pulse, but it definitely doesn't have as much functions as right now. Literally, they made smartwatches like a mini phones, which you can wear on your wrist. You can make calls, you can text messages to people, you can browse on social media, track your heart rate, download apps probably, just everything. I never had a smartwatch in my life because I don't like wearing watches, but they have evolved out and look at the design now. They look way more colorful. You can change the bands, you can do way more things than you could do back in the days but I don't know how often people are using smartwatches and if they do nowadays I feel like people use it just to say I have a smartwatch not like they use it that much well people who train constantly like going to the gym or they train a sport they might use this but me I don't buy one just because I won't use it only once I have been wearing a watch and it was when I was in kindergarten it was a just kids watch with numbers basic kids watch that's the thing, I don't like wearing watches and that's why I don't wear them but it's great to see the evolution of every technology so you can see in this picture which I showed you it's just visible differences nowadays they keep upgrading every year smartwatches every company is seeing what the other one has done so they can do it even better back in the days they didn't have the resources to make that progression and basically it was happening very slow but people were happy because it's a new technology and they can use it so i believe that every progression is important the last thing which i'm gonna compare today aka a technology is one of the first versus the latest laptops i use my laptop every single day that's why I decided to include it in this video because usually I can live without my laptop. Yes, I use my phone, but everything what I do is in my laptop. So here, this is one of the first laptops you to look like versus the latest. Try not to laugh because the design is very funny. Like you have this big keyboard, but the screen is so tiny and I don't know how people can see something in this. 
honestly it looks like a computer but the thing is that you can close it and you can travel with it no matter this machine looks way heavier than what the machines look like now my laptop is very thin and that's what I love about it because it doesn't weigh much and I can carry it everywhere with me I won't carry this machine now because let's be honest it's heavy and where I have to put it I don't think I can find a bag for this thing also I just I feel uncomfortable when someone would see me with it they're like what is that is that a new is that a box or something no that's my laptop yo yo what yeah pretty much that's the thing that's the deal I love my laptop maybe I'll change it I don't know I haven't thought about this because I don't have a reason to change my laptop I like the way it is it's thinner and this is the most important thing for me is the way because my previous laptop was heavy and when I had to wear it it was just like like constantly switching it from one hand to another because I have other luggage with me I'm not gonna finish the story because it just I was traveling with my laptop and it was heavier than this one so when I'm looking for a laptop this is one of my things to not be heavy and seeing how the first one looks like yes you can carry it around but it still feels a bit uncomfortable but it was a privilege to have this because computer you can take it away from home but this one you can so if you have some work to do you can go into the coffee shop and just finish it if you have a good wi-fi if people knew what wi-fi was back then i believe times were strange but technology kept evolving and look where we are now who knows what would happen after 50 years so laptops might be foldable as tablets no matter that they're already idea pad tablets so who knows what what might will happen but yeah it was a good uh, progression and it was probably one of the most important inventions okay guys that is it video hope you enjoyed it comment down below which comparison you liked the most personally i think that maybe the computer or the tablet was my favorite because computers back then just hit different though now you have so such thin keyboards have wireless mouses back in the days everything was just you have cables everywhere and you don't even know what cable is for what already but it was a luxury having these devices at home because let's say that the value of money like 30 years ago and now is completely different and i can say that five bucks before value 500 now so you can see how money are changing but yeah it's part of our life and i'm glad the technology is inventing and i have hopefully a long way to live test it and see how it's evolving so yeah that's the video for today like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye guys